People ask, um, why now all of a sudden and so quickly have you introduced regulations to deal with blockchain? The truth is that we spent three years looking at this technology and how it can possibly be regulated. I think if you start from the fact that today this activity is happening all over the world and yet no jurisdiction has chosen to regulate it, uh, tells you why we have. Um, 20 years ago when people were not comfortable with gaming companies, however good they were, uh, Gibraltar regulated by contract initially and subsequently by legislation uh, online gaming firms even before there was internet. Uh, and our success in that space has shown us that you can innovate safely provided there are a number of key facets and those are that you only engage with quality partners, that you regulate them and that they have their mind and management in the jurisdiction so that we can watch them, work with them and properly regulate them. And I think when I look at blockchain and when we started this journey three years ago, the government outlook at that time was actually quite negative um, and we were concerned about the risk, reputation and otherwise. Um, and after three consultation papers that we've issued over the past three years, dealing with one, should we be involved in this space or not, two, um, if so, how can we regulate it, and then three, the final one with our proposed regulatory formation for the DLT space, we have come to the conclusion after much thought, uh, and, and we are a traditionally conservative community, that this is the space that needs to be regulated, this is the space that we should become involved in, in terms of promoting long-term, good quality, sustainable business. Um, and for those reasons, we've uh, engaged in the space. We are not scared to innovate. We've done it before and we're happy to do it again in the blockchain space. But doing so in the same way as we have in the past. Regulation, quality of businesses and quality operators, mind and management in Gibraltar, and working very closely with the sector and the regulator to ensure that we create the right framework uh, and the right ecosystem for this business to prosper in a safe way. We're not looking at a light touch regulation or a soft touch regulation. Uh, the consumer aspects and the consumer protection is at the forefront of what we're doing. And what we're basically doing is replicating to an extent what we do in financial services and mirroring that in what we call the nine core principles in our regulations uh, for the blockchain space. So it's something we're excited about um, and, and we're looking forward to working with these firms to develop together uh, in the future.